behind me, Pacer. Now, you need to calm down just a little bit today. You almost scratched my eyeball out with your claw. Pacer, that really hurt. <laughs> You're encouraging her. <laughs> Pacer and I are just having a, a good, good time. We're having a good time. You're such a happy dog. We're having a good time. Welcome back to my channel, Running Wild, and second episode of 100K Training. It is Thursday, October 22nd. That's right. Um, and so, trying to do more of like a medium long run. I don't think I went past 10 miles this week. Ideally, I'd like to go to 12 to 13 today. Um, we'll see how I feel. But at this point in training, like I still have time, so I'm just not gonna force anything and decided to do just a few trail miles today. I'm sorry, I'm going uphill. That's why I'm breathing a little bit hard right now. Um, I know in that last episode I said, it's honestly kind of better for me to stick to flatter terrain just to focus on form, but decided to run the trail because one, it's good for the soul. Two, it's supposed to start snowing fairly soon and sometimes once it starts snowing here, some of the trails just turn to ice for months. So I also, and I also just wanted to enjoy like the fall scenery and foliage. So here I am, just a few trail miles. Um, the fall goes as planned today. Again, not forcing it. Um, first part of this run, fairly easy. I'd like to finish with a few more moderate um, up tempo miles. Uh, so we'll see if that happens or not. It all depends how smooth my stride feels today. Anyway, if you're following Colorado, Colorado news, um, you'll know that there's tons of forest fires going on right around Boulder right now, um, the surrounding towns and mountains. And so, you know, it's supposed to be sunny today and a little bit warmer right now, but it is foggy. It'd be amazing if it rained. Um, help get rid of some of those forest fires. We'll see. It's the first time this year I've worn pants running and two layers on top. So as much as like I'm a summer person would love if it snowed. Or even, <laughs> I would even be happy with the cold right now, even though that's miserable to run in. But <sighs> yeah, I love Colorado. And, it sucks to see it burn. Good morning. <laughs> You're enjoying this fall weather too, huh? You enjoy your day. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm just a little bit over eight miles in. I'm about to jog home, um, drop off all my extra weights at the pack, and finish off with some moderate miles. Um, so honestly, I don't feel like I need a gel right now. I feel pretty good, but I really want to start training my gut to handle a moderate effort um, for sustained periods of time. So no, like no, no time like the present. Is it pacer cuddle time? It's pacer cuddle time. Pacer cuddle time. Siri went off even, Pacer. Siri recognizes your name. All right, so today's plans, original plans got changed a little bit. But as I always tell all my athletes, probably knowing by now, is that you control the controllable and then you just make the best with the rest. And so um, Pacer and my sister will be sleeping over tonight. Uh, they just went under a voluntary evacuation. And I actually look forward to that. Um, I love spending time with, with Pacer and Ray, and so maybe we'll make a movie there or something. Uh, but some of the original plans they got scrapped, like uh, Sage and I were supposed to take pictures for different sponsors, um, but it's, the weather's not right for it and there's just other stuff going on. But I'm okay with that. I actually don't really like taking pictures, even though I appreciate 
the opportunity to always, um, or at least with like sponsors wanting um, to use me in pictures, that's always an honor, even though if it, if it makes me uncomfortable, um, you know what I mean. Uh, so anyway, uh, today I'm gonna make some training plans. I'm gonna hopefully upload the new all-in beginner to intermediate marathon plan. Super excited about that. Uh, I love the feedback from the all-in um, BQ plan right now. That plan was definitely a labor of love and just to hear that helping people and having it, having them say that it met their expectation, expectations and, and what I wanted um, people to feel like using the plan. Like I wanted people to feel like all their questions were answered and that it wasn't improving just their running, but their daily lives. And so just to hear that, like that's actually like happening. So excited and really excited about um, releasing uh, the beginner to intermediate all in plan too. Um, I don't, sorry, I really don't mean to uh, be promoting that, um, but it's something I worked hard on recently that I'm really proud of. Um, so I'll check training plans, do that. Sage and I, we need to ship out some international hats, which always takes a while to fill out customs forms. But right now, um, hopefully give you some insight on how I'm gonna make my training plan for for this 100K. And uh, so I always start off with a paper copy. Definitely old school in that way. But I also, I kind of like it because then I can take it anywhere with me, like, even when I don't have internet. So um, sometimes it, for a long um, car ride or when I used to fly in airplanes, it was nice to be able to just pull out the paper version and update things for myself, but mainly for my athletes um, along the way. So right now, a little over 16 weeks to the 100k hopefully if it goes on and you can see like I didn't write anything in at all right now but I did block things out so um, you can see like have the first few weeks space phase um, well before I get into any more I should say what I think about when I lay out the plan and the first thing is always considering somebody's history, um, especially their injury history. So with me, I would love to just do build up some miles and go right into like short interval training. But I have to take a step back and realize like what's actually smart for me. Um, and so if I look at my history and how I feel right now, like right now I feel really good. Nothing hurts. But looking at my history, you know, I've had Achilles tendons injury, and that's, for me, most likely to f flare up um, during, like, short and fast intervals. And so, for me, as much as I'd love to do um, the track speed work and shorter hill sprints and stuff right now, I know that's going to have to wait till later in the training cycle. So, my plan for myself right now is to still take the next about three weeks to feel really comfortable at the mileage I'm at now, I'm okay with. I like to build up a little bit more if I can, and then um, th start throwing in some more moderate efforts. Maybe I'll throw in a workout if I start feeling really good, but this week um, I just, I did like a moderate effort on Monday, um, did some moderate miles today, and so hopefully I can keep building on that. And hopefully being smart right now will help me build up uh, the tendon strength to just to be able to handle those short and fast interval sessions later on. And it sometimes it changes by training cycles. Like if all goes well now, like maybe the next time I do a training cycle, I could do more short speed work right away. But right now it's the base phase and I'll probably do more tempo runs and fartleks. Fartleks um, at a pretty controlled effort um, just to get a little bit faster running in, but probably still at a tempo effort. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And sometimes when I have a training plan like this, like I'll make it fairly detailed from the start. I'll probably just loosely do mine right now because I'm still thinking about what I want to do. And as I said, like I feel good right now. Like nothing, nothing hurts, but sometimes my stride just doesn't feel quite as smooth as it's supposed to. And I know it has to come from my left, um, mainly left hip stability, but also how I use my foot a little bit. Cause um, 
for those of you who haven't been following along long term, I guess I haven't spoken that much about it, but I had a like, long term, eight years plus Achilles injury. And so that definitely messes up your stride and so much work to be, be undone and a lot of strength that still needs to be gained on that side. But I'm working on that. Um, as hopefully in a future video, I'll show um, workouts with more workouts with my strength coach, Kevin. In my last video, you saw one of my workouts from him, but maybe um, I'll take my video to an um, in person training session with them. We'll see. Um, I always hate to like impose the camera on people, but maybe be up for it. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, trying to think what else I'll talk about. I was meaning to talk about next week will probably be fairly similar. Um, yeah. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. So one thing I realized for me, um, with training for a February race is that I have to be flexible with the winter training. Uh, I'm definitely a summer person as excited as, as I am for the snow to come right now um, with all the fires. I don't love snow. I, well, it's not that I mind the snow. It's that I really, really despise ice. Like running on ice is the worst. And here, because of our weather pattern, sometimes it's like really cold and snowy and then I'll be like 50 degrees during the day and then things will freeze. Um, so things will melt during the day and then things will um, freeze at the night. And so sometimes, especially our trails, they just are just big ice shoots um, during the winter. But sometimes, depending on how the weather plays out, like our sidewalks can get that way too. Um, but sometimes our winters are amazing here. But what I'm getting at is that I have to be flexible because what I don't want and I've seen happen to other athletes is that they push and push and push through the winter. Um, and they just grind it out, which I love that mentality from the Midwest. I love just um, grinding it out. Uh, but I can, I like, I know I can do that. I've done that in the past where like no matter the weather, even if it's negative whatever and a blizzard, I will get out there and run. But if I push that too much, then, you know, sometimes I get mentally burnt out. Um, I, again, I've seen this with plenty of other athletes too, you get mentally burnt out. Um, by the spring or summer and I don't want that to happen so um, you know sometimes I like to hit higher mileage but like if it's a rough winter and uh, just not fun conditions to run in I'm not going to force it and I also have to pay attention to how my body feels uh, as I say to my athletes like you know when you're ready for more mileage when you feel pretty good at the mileage you're at so that's something I have to keep in mind for myself because it's so easy to like tell yourself what you should be doing to perform well. Um, like you think you have to hit this many miles and then you'll be in good shape. Or you have to do this many speed workouts per week and then you'll be a good, in good shape. But sometimes that way of thinking, it just ends up hurting us in the long run and it gets us to do, if, or how should I say this? We start doing um, things too soon or or too much than what our body is ready for. And sometimes it leads to an injury. Sometimes it just leads us to getting sloppy or start shuffling on our runs. And that's definitely not what I want to do. My goal is to run fast here. So um, fast, but enjoyable. Uh, that's always the key is to enjoy the journey, even the rough days, like embrace them, laugh at them, learn from them um, and keep going. So uh, yeah, and then with that in mind too, like I already know like, the holidays will be inter interesting this year. Uh, I'll definitely go home, uh, be with my mom, stepdad, and my dad. Uh, that that will be extra important this year. So, but I already know, like my time in Ohio, like I will cut back on mileage around Christmas. Uh, yeah, so I'm preparing for that in advance. So I think that's it for what I wanted to say right now. I'll check in with you later. Time to ship the International Stage Running hats. Thanks for everyone um, who purchased these hats overseas and in the US. Um, I just know we can't always sh do international shipping with US sh shipping costs and it, the international forms are a pain in the butt. But yeah, so shout out to all the Stage Running fans out there. Thanks. 
that's about it for episode two of 100k training probably have some pizza maybe maybe it's a beer night too for dinner for for ray being evacuated and stuff so uh, maybe we'll have a family movie and pizza night uh it's always kind of nice to do things that are relaxing um during stressful times could imagine what ray and, and pacer too are going through right now so uh thanks so much for watching and until next time keep running wild